deer compare favorably with deers, other types of deers in other parts of the world. For example, here's some antlers I showed before that I found right near to where I'm standing. Here's a big approximately 14 point set. Here's a big approximate 20 point set that have a lot of extra points on them. Um, here's a elk antler, here's a, here's caribou antlers, here's mule deer antlers. The white tails have antlers as big as many other deer and even some of the white tails could probably weigh as much as the elk antlers if they're really big. What's interesting is to find antlers and then match them to pictures of the deer. And for example, here's two I just found recently. Here's an antler I instantly recognized. I just picked it up about three days ago. I instantly recognized the deer. This is because the deer is, it's been an accident. It's deformed and crippled. I've had it in videos before, but looking at the antler, Here is a picture of the deer. Here's the part that's stretching that way. Here's these two points. Here's the point down here. This is actually, even though it's deformed, it's a good size antler. It looks like a four point, but it's actually a five point because there's another point down here on the end that broke off right there. The deer's in its prime, and uh, its width is about the same as some of the larger deer's. Here's another deer, and here's a matching antler. This one is webbed. But it's interesting because it's webbed, which means the deer would probably have much larger antlers if it grew to be a larger deer. It's very difficult to match antlers, however. Here's two antlers. They're both five points and would be from ten point deer. It's obvious they're a different color. Here's the sound of the normal antlers. And here's the sound of this antler. It's quite a bit different. Here they are from a different viewpoint. The elk's antler is very long, but not terribly wide. The white tail antlers can get very wide. They also have interesting colors, for example. Toward the end here, they're red. Some even talk about the golden antlers of some really big white tails. Also, these are very wide with lots of little extra points all along them.
and you can see the this is a caribou you can see the veins from when the antlers were growing these kind of look like moose antlers too they were found in somebody's attic we don't know where they came from i found this in iron water i don't know if it might be a fossil or not probably not these are the mule deer antlers. They look browner than the white tail antlers. This is the four point, the big four point antler. It's very wide and heavy and sh very, very shiny. Here's the seven point antler. extra points. If the deer stays alive, they'll probably have very large antlers. With this one, I found this a couple days ago. This is from the crippled deer. Uh, they may have lost the other antler about a month or so ago. I found this a day or so ago and then photographed it about two days ago with no antlers. Had one antler for quite a while, like about a month. But they don't always lose their antlers together. I found these two big ones together. But it took me a while to find the extra one of this one. And most of the time I find one rather than two. And have to try to figure out how to match them up later.